Hello. Happy May 4th. I'm going to do a coding challenge for May 4th on the coding spaceship. Um, this coding challenge, I'm going to make some scrolling text that looks as if it is scrolling off into the distance. And I, it is the return of the 15 minute timer, which, you know, when has that ever gone wrong? I mean, it's always been so great to have the timer. Nothing ever goes wrong with the timer. So um, why am I doing this challenge today? It's, I don't know, it's uh, the 4th of May and I thought it might be appropriate and maybe someday I'll get a sponsorship and then I'll be able to, um, you know, have all these logos and music happening at the same time. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> here we go. Let's start the timer and let's begin. All right, so I'm, I'm going to do this in processing. Processing is a Java-based programming environment. If you were anybody else or if you were born after 1990, you would probably do some kind of like CSS transforms and have some crazy cool 3D text scrolling thing in the browser. But I am, I am old and I like to draw my pixels one at a time. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, let's make a window that is, uh, let's just start with like 800 by 600 and let's, Let's just admit the fact that we're going to be doing this in 3D and I'm going to add the P3D renderer. Then in draw, I'm going to say background zero. Oh, and I need some text. Hmm. So let's make a text file. Well, first let me save this and I'm going to call this, I'm going to just save this to the desktop under May 4th challenge. And um, I'm just checking the chat because I'm going to need help. I'm definitely going to need help. I'm at 14 minutes. Okay, here we go. Uh, and don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Okay, text edit. On the E key still doesn't work on this computer. So many things going wrong. Format plain text. So let's get some text. I am using in this coding challenge uh, processing.org. And so, uh, I don't know. This looks like some good text. Oh, yeah, this is great. Let's look at this. Let's use this. Um, Okay, so I'm going to save this as, uh, and I'm going to go to the desktop, and I'm going to go to May 4th challenge, and I'm going to go to uh, space.txt. No E, come on, fingers. Okay, there we go. So now, in back in my sketch here, I want to access that text. So I'm going to create, um, actually, I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it uh, txt. I don't want to call it text because there's a function called text in processing and just to, so I don't confuse myself. And one I'm going to use the load strings function and I'm going to load, uh, what did I call that file? Space, uh, space.txt. But the thing is, you might um, won't be wondering here, I really don't have time to explain this, but I'm going to anyway. Why do I have this array of strings called lines? Well, it so happens that the load strings function loads a text file and takes every line from that text file and makes it a separate element in an array. And this is actually very convenient in most cases, but not so much right now. So I am then going to instead say, uh, actually, this might actually be really useful because I might, I might want to make use of that array. But right now, I'm just going to say txt equals join, uh, lines, lines dot join, and then I will join them with the line break character. And join, I'm going to join them with the line break character. Lines dot join, hmm. Maybe I need to give it uh, double quotes because it's not a character, it's a string. Nope. Oh, let's check our errors. Cannot invoke join string on the type ar string array. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> Let's do this. This is a processing function that exists called uh, uh, lines. That's called join. That's written into processing. There's no join function for um, an array in Java, I guess. And the join function is part of the processing API where I can take an array and join them with a line break. Okay, now we are going to say, uh, fill 255 because I want my text to be white on a black background. Then I'm going to say text uh, txt and I'm going to say, I'm going to give it a bounding box of the full window. And let's just run this and see what we got. Okay, there we go. There's our text. It is in this window. There it is. All right, let's do some stuff. I really should think about the font. Oh, I didn't even think about this. Do I have time to go look for the appropriate font for this particular simulation that, I, uh, that I'm attempting to code without buzz marketing for free a particular commercial product. This is, this is really pointless what I'm attempting to do here. Uh, oh, it's a single, anyway. Um, 
text font, oh, text size. Let's just try text size 64. Okay. I also want to use, that's pretty good. Um, I also want to use text align and I want to full justify. That's not going to work. <laughs> Let's try center just out of curiosity. What does that do? Uh, it centers it. Okay, centers it within that box. Well, let's use that for right now. Okay, we're doing well. Look at this. I got 10 minutes. I have time to eat some melon. This is going to be really weird. I'm so confident about this coding challenge. I'm going to eat this piece of melon, which you're wondering, what is the deal with this piece of melon? It's purple. It's blue. This is the magical space melon that they eat on the planet Mafuin. <laughs> That's the only planet I know. That's delicious. Very good. Very low pH. Soothing of the throat. Mm. Okay. Sponsored by Alien Melon. Okay. Now, uh, what I want to do is I need a variable. I'm going to say, uh, I was about to say let, but I'm in processing. I need to specify the type. Float y equals zero. Let's you let's set the text at zero comma y. And let's say y minus minus. So y is just going to change by one every frame. And now we have scrolling text. Where did it go? Oh, look at this. I gave it a bounding box, which was the height. Oh, this was going to be a no edit. This is going to be a no edit coding challenge. Can't edit that out. The camera went off. It's fine. I fixed it. Um, so I need to, um, can I possibly make this bounding box without, I mean, I could just do this. And here's the thing, I want it to start, right? I want it to, Y to start at uh, height. Ah, okay, I'm getting some, so now, here we go. Processing is a flexible software sketchbook and a language for learning how to code. All right, this is great. I'm really wasting time here. Uh, all right, I'm told there is a specific color um, that I'm supposed to use. So let's change that. R75213238. All right. <laughs> Processing is a flexible software sketchbook. I, there must be a specific font. It also needs to be full justified. I'm going <laughs> to see if I can manage that. Um, but here's the thing. It's, so this is just scrolling up, but I, I have made this, do not forget, a P3D sketch, which means what I can do right now is I want to rotate the scene this way. Now, if this is if this train whistle is representing my axis of rotation, this is the z-axis. That would be something spinning around. So if I were to just say, for example, whoops, let me zoom back out here, and say something like, oh, let me rotate by, you know, 45 degrees, which is radians of 45, or I'm going to say pi, pi divided by 8. No, pi divided by 2 is 90, so pi divided by 4 is 45 degrees. We should see the text completely gone. Why? Ah, I need to like, I need to rotate around the center. I need to rotate around the center of this. Oh, look at that. There it goes. Here it comes. It's kind of like this. That should be the sound effect that goes along with this. All right. So I, what I want to do is rotate by X, but let's, I think actually what's going to make more sense is for the world of this universe that I'm building to um, be, have its origin point in the center. So really what I want is for, uh, I'm going to take out the rotate. Really what I want is to trans, like the, the top left is the default origin point, zero, zero. So now I want that origin point to be in the middle. And you're going to see uh, now, why am I not seeing anything? I will eventually. <laughs> it's very slow, the scrolling text. I only have six minutes left. I got way too overconfident about this. But so now what I want is for, the text actually to not be at zero comma y, but to be at negative width divided by two. So offset it 
and then y can start at height divided by 2. And now we should see, back to what I had before, and now, hopefully, I can now rotate, right? This was, this will now rotate my text along the z-axis, so it's doing that. But what I really want to do is I want to rotate it along the x-axis. I want it to, like, sort of fold down. So I want to say rotate x and processing is a flexible software. Is it too slow or is that actually the appropriate speed? I also can't <laughs> see it at all. So let's make it much wider. Oh, wrong color, I'm told. Uh, 238, 213, 75. I did it backwards. Okay. <laughs> uh, processing is a flexible software sketchbook and a language for learning how to code within the context of the visual arts. I don't know, it's going kind of slow. Let's, uh, let's have this go a little bit faster. What else does this need? This is done. Done, four minutes to go. Yeah, there we go. What else should I do? That is approximately the right speed, yeah. So the one thing is I'm pretty sure that if I were being true to this particular design, it really should be full justified. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to do that. Uh, make it like 80% of the width, yeah. Um, so I guess what I should do also, the bounding box, um, I guess I can adjust the bounding box. Um, yeah, no, but that's not doing me any good because um, why doesn't that? Oh, no. Okay, so negative width. So, hold on. So, I need to, let me just make this. So, this should be negative W. So, I, I want the bounding box and the text to be centered based on the bounding box. So, I've got to, and I want that bounding box not to be the full width. So, I'm shrinking it by like, 80%, and I probably should have the font, the text size, be related to the width as well. So it was like 1,200 divided by 64. Well, if it was 60 point, that would be 100, 200. So I could say width divided by 200, right? Oh no, I meant to say, <laughs> not 220. <laughs> so let's do this. And... So that's right. I guess the size is too big, actually. So let's make the text size width divided width times uh, 0 0.15. And now, whoa! I meant 015. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's just make up numbers so no point four is going to be really big. Oh, five. Five percent? Oh, yeah, five percent. Five percent is good. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's make it like uh, three percent. <laughs> this is really the way, this is the way to program. Just try different numbers. Oh, the width is still too wide. Ah, this is the problem. I liked my size. I want it to enter. There we go. Thank you. That only took me, oh, I have a minute and 42 seconds left. Processing is a flexible software sketchbook and a language for learning how to code within the context of the visual arts. Okay, what else do I need to do in my minute and a half that I have left? Text mode is model or shape. Yeah, yeah so there is a text mode thing. Oh, the full justify. No, oh, I now have a challenge to you. <laughs> Try to, oh, and I, the reason why I was doing this is because I wanted to demonstrate processing's wonderful full screen function and whoa that's weird why did that happen when I went full screen huh do I just need to rotate much more 
What did I, what did I do to deserve this? That's so weird. What if I do this? How am I doing on time? Yeah, that's so weird. Why when I went full... Oh, for P3D, thank you. Ah, no wonder. Ah, I'm a... Ah, 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 ah. So, of course, size is where you specify the width and height manually and a uh, particular renderer. If I say full screen, I still need to specify the renderer. So it was working, but it just defaulted to a 2D renderer and Rotate X didn't work. Oh, the timer went off. I finished. Here we go. We're done. Oh. <laughs> mm. I finished. Mm. I can't do the Jabril's thing. I can't talk while I'm eating. How does he do it? Somebody's got to tell me. We don't know what I'm talking about. Check out Jabril's YouTube channel. I have now made a sideways scrolling yellow text thing with no theme music or branding whatsoever with some processing uh, text in the amount of time that I was given. Um, it really should have, uh, it really should be full justified. I will leave that to you. I hope you make a version of this. Please make some, a timer. Do you hear the timer? Or you just hear it? Cause I really want to, I'm going to hit okay. Okay. Um, make your own version of this. Um, add stuff to it to make it more fun or different or with your own style. Um, I'll try to make a JavaScript version of this with P5 and the WebGL renderer of P5. It can make a 3JS one. And then of course, all of you who know more than I do, prob many of you could probably make a, a CSS one uh, with transforms and all that fancy new stuff. I know Sarah Drasner, who is like my CSS guru probably knows a way to do this. Um, okay, put a star field behind it. Yes, you can do that. Goodbye. I'm gonna finish this. I'm just like I'm just gonna be done with this coding challenge. Goodbye.